Why software is hard to manage, Uncle Bob? Hello, I'm Chris Athanas. I'm a KMP developer. Tech support said they're coming out. Close that bad boy up. We'll see, right? Um, uh, I'm going to be reacting. I haven't watched this one yet. Um, why software is hard to manage from, from Uncle Bob, but he, uh, man, I got mixed feelings about his stuff. Uh, I've done a deep dive in him, uh, into into all his material, and like, turns out like none of his stuff is his own. Like he's just collects, he's a collector of ideas, and then he pontificates on them and bloviates on them, and but never really. You have to really. I've been heard a couple of interviews where they people nail him down about these where they came from, and he, he freely admits it. You have to ask him directly though. He's not gonna come out and say it, but yeah, he didn't come up with this stuff. This is stuff that was floating around at the time. At the you know two ninety five to two thousands on the internet boards and Usenet and, and all these programming channels and and there was really conferences and people were talking about these things at conferences and and around there and he got on the conference circuit and he's uh, then he realized oh you have to make a book and desktop publishing was a big thing so people started making their own books and that was like a really big deal because people didn't realize how easy it was to make a book. <sighs> And it was like a bit it's like a it's like a calling card, even though people don't really read these books. Uh, oftentimes they won't read these books uh, or they'll just interpret them in their own way, which is and then it spawns a whole nother set of conferences where people are responding to these authors who become these agents, these no, these known uh, knowledge influencers. But they're often just collecting ideas from other people. So, yeah, OK, here we go. Why is it so hard to manage software pro projects? What is the because it's idea knowledge work? It's because it's uh, there's no straight line. It's we're trying to figure out a new a new solution that hasn't been done before, uh, or done it in the way we want it, which is more fun, cheaper, funner, uh, faster, easier uh, for a different set of, set of different audience for a different language, different culture, different context. Uh, yeah, so we don't really know exactly all the things. Uh, that's why it's hard to manage. And we don't really know which way the customers go because talking to the customers is super hard. They always want a, you know, they don't want to, they don't want to, even if they ask Henry Ford what they wanted, they want a faster horse or a bigger, stronger horse, not a, a car or automobile or engines or all that stuff. They wouldn't even think about that. So uh, oftentimes we're trying to apply our solutions, which is, you know, if you watch this channel, it's probably going to be a, a software dev development solution. To some new place for humans, and in this time, which we're doing, we're niching down. So a lot of the general purpose solutions are out there, and people are super unhappy with them. The Salesforce and all these, you know, you know, uh, what was it uh, not Jenkins, but uh, Jenkins is pretty bad. Uh, but uh, was it Jira? Like all these solutions that are just general purpose solutions for everyone, and everyone's supposed to have to take in everything. It's Jira's a to-do list. <laughs> it's a to-do list, it's a to -do list guys. No, it's standard soft development. It's like, um, yeah, we can do a to-do list. Uh, and so I, you know, the sales, the sales, Salesforce plugins. It's just a CRM. It's just contact management. So and everybody wants to do it differently. That's why there has to be all these different markets for it. So yeah, so that's what we're seeing now is this niching down, and we you have to find, you have to find a customer that that is, you can that your skill set is enough to contain their whatever problem they're doing, whatever problem they're having, you have a solution that is better, faster, easier, uh, you know, more fun, uh, different context uh, for, for them that you can produce at a profitable ring where you, you know, if it's a small team or five people or 25 people or 500 people, whatever it is, that you found enough customers who are willing to pay it enough that you can pay that team of people to, Get that solution continue. Right? This is not this is not rocket science. The fundamental cause of this. But people, but they have Harvard MBAs. They come in after you found the product market fit, right? Then they come in. It's like all businesses are just widgets. They all do those things: just advertising, marketing. You just do advertising. Yeah, that's after we have product market fit. In software, this is the problem: is we are still trying to apply market fit, and other players are too. <laughs> it's, like, it's like not just us guys. There's other people that are seeing what everybody's doing. And if there's a little bit of advantage, you better believe someone's going to come up and try and take the lunch. And that's called a market. I don't know where to, I don't know how to, to explain it. And the answer to that has been known for a very long time. And it's actually it? a very it's simple serious problem. Thing. What is it? Oh, Good. it's very simple. Okay. Fast, cheap, done. Pick any three. You're not going to get okay, the Okay, right. Yes. 
course. This is called the Iron Cross of, of project management. Well, it's project a triangle. Managers know it in the room. Any project you do can be good, fast, and cheap, but it won't get done. Okay, right. But I mean, that's implicit. This is a triangle. And it's a good, fast, and cheap on each one of the triangle, and you can't have be a full triangle. Okay, so you have to only pick two sides of the triangle. This, this mythic triangle. One's gonna have to shrink in if you want it to be finished. Okay, I guess that's that's where he's. It's really pick two. You can pick two, but he's got the alternate cross version. It's like, okay, buddy, whatever. Or it can be done cheap and fast, but it won't be any good. Pick any three you want, the fourth one you cannot get. By the way, this is just a fundamental law of any project you do. Right, right. anything. You cannot take endeavor. all those things and get them all. Right. So a good manager has to look, look that square in the eye and decide how to adjust the knobs. How good, how fast, how right. cheap, how done. Absolutely. And a good manager will do that by adjusting the knobs with lots of feedback to drive the project to the best possible outcome. Right, but this isn't a software thing. This is like a just general business knowledge thing. It's like a, a, a lot of people, when I started doing software, this was just implied. This is just implied. And But at some point, somebody was like, oh, no, it's a triangle. It has, do, 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 do. Now he puts it into a cross. Not to confuse things. That outcome may not be what was originally targeted. Correct. You start a project with all kinds of dreams and hopes. By the time the project is over, you may wind up in a very different place, but at least it's a... If you're lucky. If you're lucky. ...good outcome. And that would be a successful project. I mean, I mean, that's all variable. Like, it's all graded on a curve. I don't know. That, what is success? What is a successful project? I mean, if you're solving somebody's problem profitably, sustainably... Or even not sustainably. So, okay, this is going to be a five five year deal. I mean, we're going to get in and we're going to out. We're hopefully we make our money, and if we don't, back to the grindstone. <laughs> What's the thing about it? Like, uh, yeah. So, yeah. That's the. If we're lucky, we get to pivot around. But a lot of times, we just have to like go back and jump off and go work on somebody else's project and hope we can uh, get in somewhere else. And that's just often how it works. And that's you got to be open to that. If you don't like, if you just want to be a Full uh, straight escalator, uh, straight up into, into the sky forever. I software development is probably not, probably not the best field. Even though they hyped it up the last what fifteen years, hype it up to like make it seem like oh no, it will never fail. It will, it will always be going up to the right. It's like ah oh, no, I've been on this thing for a while. I've been since I was a little kid, and I've seen it go up and down and up and down. It's like it's over. It's gonna all white. We're so back. It's over. It's all back. It's like come on. All right, give me a like and subscribe, and I'll leave the. Link to the other channel. Dev Tools Mason, but they're good. They do great work. I like I like it. I like their channel. I, uh, but you know, let's keep going.